next question. Uh, we'll start with Senator Osley. Um, wanted to ask you about uh, about the use of vouchers in public education. Um, again, some of these questions are coming from the audience. Uh, uh, and but th th anyway, in regards, I'm pretty clear what your position on vouchers is. But if you could explain why you generally have been opposed uh, uh, to the offering of vouchers in school choice programs. And um, I also would like, because uh, this question is going to go to Mr. Simon as well, what you think about the concept of universal vouchers? Okay. Go ahead. I'm, I'm not sure if I understand what universal vouchers are, but, I'll, but let me just... The idea, that, that the, the idea of universal vouchers is that instead of having certain requirements that have to be made in order for someone to be eligible, whether it's income or, like, for instance, with the bullying vouchers, whether or not it just open it up and allow, you know, basically anyone to, to be able to be eligible for a voucher. That's pretty much what we, what we have now. We're moving very close to it. And I am an unapologetic, unapologetic supporter of our traditional public schools that give every kid a chance at success, no matter their zip code. And I'm not opposed to school choice, parental choice, but it shouldn't come at the expense of our public schools. School choice, that, <laughs> school choice is a carefully crafted code for or vouchers and tax credit programs that are siphoning money from our public schools. This year alone, vouchers redirected over $1.3 billion, $1.3 billion from public schools to private schools. And while they, the Republicans used to put these little schemes together that use tax credits and all these different things, this is now money that's coming straight out of the FEFP, the funding source, and it is death by a thousand cuts to our public school system. Um, we have an example right in Jefferson County where the, the, the state took over the schools, put private, a private contractor in place. At the end of the day, the private contractor failed. Every kid was getting six, they were getting $16,000 more per student, I'm sorry, $16,000 per student, 150% more than the traditional public schools, and that failed. We need to be putting our public dollars in our public schools so that every single child has the opportunity to succeed. Period. Okay. End of story. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Simon. Well, that's a far cry from what my opponent said earlier uh, in a questionnaire where she was against school vouchers and she was against school choice. And so it's good that she's finally come around to the fact that um, I take my own personal story where my mother, when I, was a young, when I was a young man, had to use her work address because the schools that were in the area where I went to school were failing schools. And so it works well for folks that live in wealthy neighborhoods. It works well for them to send their kids to those, to those nice schools, those A schools, those B schools. But it doesn't work well for kids like myself. I was thankful that my mom made the choices that she made because I'm not standing here today without those choices. And I think that all of our kids should have the same opportunities to do so. It shouldn't have to be where you live to get a good education. And some of these kids, it's not a, I have a problem against public schools. Some of these kids are leaving and going to public schools. As a matter of fact, 90% of them leave and go to other public schools. And so it's not about uh, our charter schools. It's not just about uh, private schools. It's just about putting our kids first and putting the, sick, the system second. And I'm going to stand up for our kids every single day of the week, getting them the proper education that they seek and those families seek. Uh, I did want to follow up. The, the concept of universal vouchers was also part of the question. Do you have an uh, opinion one way or the other on that? Again, I'm going to be for parents making the best choice for their kid. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. 